When antibiotics were, were first developed in the mid 20th century, it was an enormous leap forward in global health care. Indeed, antibiotics have transformed and actually saved millions of lives over that period. But now, less than 100 years after the development of the first antibiotic, these vital health resources are under serious threat because of the emergence of antibiotic resistance, AMR. Antibiotic resistant infections are predicted to kill around 10 million people each year by the year 2050. That will make those infections a bigger killer than cancer. Dame Sally Davies, the UK's Chief Medical Officer, has recently said that antimicrobial resistance, AMR, will be a catastrophic threat to global health, reflecting the WHO's call for urgent action. I am Catherine Duggan, the Chief Executive Officer of the International Pharmaceutical Federation, FIP. It's important to realise that antimicrobial resistance is not a distant and future threat. AMR is a clear and present danger affecting patients around the world today. It is critical that both patients and healthcare professionals realise this is an issue we need to act on now. Antibiotics are a fantastic resource, but only when used appropriately. The misuse of these drugs, particularly for viral infections, does not confer any benefit on patients and the public and indeed exacerbates the pr propagation of AMR. Hi, I'm Philip Howard. I'm the President of the British Society of Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. We're a charity that provides free education on the responsible use of antibiotics around the world. Pharmacy is on the front line. We see patients every day. There is so much to do. Together we can make a huge difference. That's why we're calling on all pharmacists around the world to reduce the unnecessary use of antibiotics. We've so much to do. There are some great initiatives happening around the world already. Let's go and hear about a few of them. As a pharmacist in the Philippines, I'm very proud that we were able to convince our policymakers to support us in the restriction of the use of antimicrobial that resulted to the issuance by the president of an order to restrict the use of antimicrobials. In Sweden, we are working hard to address AMR, especially both from the government, they have published a strategy 2016, how to combat resistance. And we also have this uh, organization, STRAMA, who works very, very hard to uh, create guidelines, etc., for all physicians to be able to reduce the use and overuse of antibiotics. In Thailand, we have a national strategic plan for five years to reduce the death of the resistant, uh, bacterial resistant infection on a half of 50% and to reduce the use of consumption of the antibiotic about 20% in animal and human and also increase awareness 20% of the public on AMR or antimicrobial resistance. To address antimicrobial resistance in Uruguay, an action and national plan is being carried out, which is in agreement with PAHO organization, which is Pan American Health Organization, is the regional office of WHO. So collaborative interprofessional actions are taking place and still there is much place to improve the collaboration between pharmacists, nurses and physicians. A 
uh, to be honest, we really need to go a long way to reduce the antimicrobial resistance in the country. Uh, but some of the new initiatives uh, which are going well is the introduction of the Schedule H1 for the antibiotics, the Red Line campaign that is run by Government of India to create community awareness about the antibiotics. We at Indian Pharmaceutical Association, we have been running the campaign's responsible use of antibiotics saves uh, lives and that is also very effective. We are running it through the pharmacies, through the, uh, through the pharmacy students uh, to reach out to all corners of the country. We, should, we will take it to a higher level so that uh, it percolates down everywhere. I am Sabiha Isak, I'm the chairperson of the Global Respiratory Infection Partnership and the South African Research Chair in Antibiotic Resistance and One Health. I also serve as a consultant on antimicrobial resistance to the World Health Organization in Geneva as well as the World Health Organization Regional Office for Africa. Antibiotic resistance is a function of time and use. The greater the quantities of antibiotics used and the longer the time for which they are used, the greater the selection pressure for the development of resistance. About 70 to 80 percent of antibiotics used in human health are used at community level as opposed to hospital level. Community pharmacists are thus ideally placed to ensure the appropriate use of antibiotics at community level. The best example is the management of upper respiratory tract infections such as sore throat, colds and the flu which, for which uh, antibiotics are rarely indicated. Most of the upper respiratory tract infections have a viral etiology and against which antibiotics will not work. What patients really need is advice on symptomatic relief and reassurance that the pain and the discomfort will go away and is not something more serious. Pharmacy is ideally placed to offer support and advice to patients in the heart of communities all over the world. So get involved pharmacy, together we can make a difference.